Three, two, one. Hello, and welcome to this school year's second installment of Monarch TV. Here with my broadcasting partner, Claire Wisniewski, I'm your host, Mara Yendrick. With the help of Mr. Smith, the Aquinas broadcasting classes have worked hard to put together a few stories of the many interesting things going on at Aquinas. Recently at Aquinas, the middle and high school teachers have been given newly purchased document cameras. These special cameras have the ability to project practically anything the teacher wishes onto their smart boards to share with their students. Recently at Aquinas Middle and High School, teachers have been given document cameras. These cameras project what is on their desk onto the smart board. Document cameras are essentially kind of new age overhead projectors. It's basically a camera but it connects to your computer and then projects up onto, in our case since we have smart boards, it projects up to the smart board, which allows us to take anything that we want, put underneath it, and project it. So if there's something that we want to draw the attention of the students rather than bringing it around one at a time, we can put it up on the board and then everybody can see it all at once. This new technology is to aid in students' learning experience. They've been in use um, down at the elementary school for the last year. Uh, they've had a lot of success with them down there, and so um, the next time some funds came available, uh, Mrs. Zook wanted to make sure that the in middle school and high school teachers had access into, to them also. The biggest thing that would help them um, is if they have a physical uh, item, like a textbook or a worksheet or something that they want to be able to display a little more easily uh, on through a projector onto a smart board. Um, it just helps out with that instead of having to scan it and get it in, work it into a PowerPoint or something like that. You just pull out the paper, pull out the book, put it underneath the project, underneath the document camera and if it's hooked up right, it projects right up there for you. They're very easy to use. Um, the software on them is very easy to use. Uh, not very difficult to set up at all. Uh, just a USB connection and then the teachers have already been off and running with them. The funds for the document cameras came from a part of the COVID relief uh, program through the government called EANS, E-A-N-S. What that stands for is Emergency Assistance for Non-Public Schools and it's just money set aside specifically to help schools with technology issues related to uh, education via COVID, the COVID uh, situation. With Aquinas Catholic Broadcasting, this is Christopher Nicolite and Meredith Dalton. After 40 years of Aquinas being led by Mr. David McMahon, the reign has been turned over to Mr. Spencer Zizit. Colin Huff, Cecilia Sisko, and Grady Romschek caught up with Mr. Zizit to see how things are going. Spencer Zizit's first year at Aquinas has been a massive change from going to a public school to a private school. The differences between Twin River and Aquinas would be um, ob obviously the opportunity to go to Mass every week, um, have Mass in the mornings before school and confession after school most days, um, just being able to talk about things more freely, um, incorporate my faith more fully into my work every day, um, and just, yeah, being able to live our faith out. Uh, Mr. Zizit's done a, a great job. I mean, it's got to be tough coming into a new school with new kids and new rules, being a Catholic school and everything. I think he's done a great job. Well, the main thing that I'm wor working on right now, um, and it's not really an improvement at Aquinas, but one thing I'm wanting to get done is to make sure everybody feels like they are a part of the family here at Aquinas and that they have fellow students and teachers both that they can go talk to when they have questions or things that are going on that they need some help with, uh, just to make sure everybody has a few people that they feel are family to them here at school. He's done a great job. He's been uh, more hands-on in the classroom and he's uh, updating some things that we've had for a very long time that needed to be updated, so it's been good changes that he's made is more electronic things so lots more things are on the computer rather than by hand paperwork it's been a really good really good year so far for me i've really enjoyed it and as far as i have been able to tell people have appreciated me being here as well so it, it's been a really good fit i've enjoyed it a lot so
This has been Colin Huff, Cecilia Sisko, and Grady Rumshack reporting from Aquinas Broadcast. Party animal Father Ron Holmes has been hosting movie nights for Aquinas students to enjoy on the weekends. Students have created many activities along with the movie nights. His classes may be boring, but his movie nights aren't. Hey everybody, tonight we're going to have a movie night! Yeah! yeah! Bruno and Abby Pastor Father Holmes has created an exhilarating environment for high school students to watch movies and spend time with friends on the weekend. Movie nights originated when Aquinas first got projectors. Father started by showing movies to parishioners. His students were then interested and wanted to have one of their own. My first assignment was St. Pat's in Lincoln, then I was two years in McCook, then I went to Prague for eight years, and now I'm here. In recent years, students have created several activities catered to the seasons, including volleyball, fireworks, go-karts, wrestling, and sledding when it snows. After every movie night, there's always like wrestling and like we just get really crazy and then sometimes we blow up a pumpkin. Father always has popcorn, pop, and water on hand. On special occasions, like a birthday, there is cake, ice cream, and even decorations. What is your favorite snack to have at the movie nights? Popcorn. It's the cheapest. <laughs> <laughs> the popcorn is pretty famous, but I would probably have to say um, Katie Burwell's cakes when she brings them because she makes them like homemade and they're so good. Really this good. has been Claire Wisniewski and Mara Yendrick with Aquinas Catholic so Broadcasting. Our next feature story is about the Aquinas speech team and their upcoming season. The team is excited for the new season and all their goals that they want to accomplish. Today's story brings us to the Aquinas speech team who is in full gear preparing for the upcoming season. I'm looking forward to it. I'll be a captain on the team this year. So being a part of something for four years and now finally leading the team on my fourth senior year. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I think that we're going to be able to do a lot of great things. Yeah, it's uh, going to be a really good season. We lost a few seniors last year, I think the most in a while. But I'm really excited for the up and coming freshmen that are coming, coming up. They have some really good talent and that um, there will be some different, there will be different um, events that they can do and it will really help the team out. The speech team is composed of nine events and everyone has their favorite event. Um, my favorite events to do, to do is entertainment. It's just so much fun like making jabs at people who make jabs at you and just the competition between each other. Do it, poetry and uh, HI hopefully. Right now I do HI, poetry, extemp, OID, and yeah, that's it. The speech team is preparing for districts this year where they could go on to state to qualify and win for the first time since 1996. My goal, well, my goal is to beat Travis Rowe and Travis Rowe got third at state in humorous interpretation, so I wanna do better than third. State finals. State, state is, the, is everyone's goal and I think we have a good shot to win this year. For Aquinas Broadcasting, I'm Noah Grady, along with Sam Hilger, reporting. That wraps up this edition of Monarch TV. Thank you for watching, and remember, don't just have a great day, have a Monarch day.